Hey, what's up guys? So, welcome to section 2, the last part, which is part 8, where we'll be looking at how to set up your MIDI keyboard in FL Studio. Now, as you can see, um, you know, using the MIDI keyboard in FL Studio, we just kind of press a few keys. Depends on what you've got, which, what, what you click on, that's the kind of output you're going to get. If it's an instrument, As you can see, you have different kind of sounds, and it's really cool to use a MIDI, but usually you can just plug and play, put it in, but sometimes it doesn't work. So there's a few settings that we can do. Let's head here into our full studio, where we will look at how to set up your MIDI keyboard. So here at the top, we've got an option called Options. <laughs> so we select Options and we click on MIDI settings. Usually you can press F10 on your keyboard but I just prefer doing it this way and this will bring up all your settings for your keyboard. Now I've got um, your MIDI keyboard you've got the output here so I want my output to go to Oxygen which I'm using the M Audio uh, Oxygen 49 this is my keyboard and I want I want to send the Master Sync to from the from FL Studio to my keyboard this way. So this is the output. Now if we disable the input which is here, note that when I press that on my keyboard it won't work. So you need to enable this. And you know that this is your keyboard because you'll have the green tick and you know it's working. Obviously if you untick it, it won't have the green tick as you can see there's no green tick which means it doesn't work by selecting enable there's a green tick on there which means it's working and it's on now if you have any issues you will need to install the driver the CD that comes with it and usually you'd go into this page you'd see your MIDI keyboard come up whichever you got I've got two keyboards as you can see I've got another one over here which is my other MIDI um, which is these um, well I haven't got it on here this is my sound interface genetic controller and I use that MIDI as a MIDI input this is a USB based uh, controller which is just plug and play and it just loaded up straight away so you would usually see your keyboard in here and you just double click on it and make sure you enable it as soon as you enable it you will be able to go in here and play uh, usually on your MIDI keyboard as well you will have the octaves where you can move up and down so going from low up by pressing the octave you can change it and you know that it's fully working and you know this keyboard is pretty cool because I can press play on it and everything just by pressing stop play and all this but because I'm recording the hotkeys are not working because of my camera <laughs> but apart from that this is it for the section 2 hope you guys enjoyed this section 2 we're going to be looking at section 3 which will be out in a few days the more important FL Studio tutorials now where we'll be looking at the channel rack in FL Studio using the mixer in FL Studio and using the actual playlist just by looking at these three things we will cover uh, a lot of things in these three tutorials so they'll be quite longer than these tutorials but we're going to cover everything that you guys need to know then after that we're going to look at section four we're going to work on a whole project you know creating a whole project then we're going to be creating another whole EDM type of beat electronic dance music and then we're going to be looking at workflow tips in FL Studio so the link to this whole page is below in more description make sure you subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and apart from that wish you guys all the best stay safe and i'll see you soon and don't forget to subscribe you know how we do it pad music production producers buzz.com sharing all the knowledge peace out